<laughs> Welcome to part three of my pickups for May 29th, 2015. Uh, we're talking about the Kitty Spit CD here. I used to own. Um, once again, same with this release. There's, it's kind of hard to find for a good price, at least online. Uh, this copy is pretty much mint, and that's it, uh, how my original copy was on CD. I didn't own the cassette. There's another edition of this with the original bassist. Talina did not play bass in on this album. Um, that photo was taken just to kind of show the lineup um, at the time of their tour. Uh, this is Oracle, another CD. I think they only had one or two pressings of this, and then it just, they didn't, uh, that was it, and that was just it. But great album. Talina does play bass on this album. She's very talented, so was the original bassist. I forget her name. But um, we have songs like the title track, Mouthful of Prison, I mean Poison, um, In Winter, Run Like Hell, What I Always Wanted, there's a video for that, um, but great CD, sounds really good too, it's not a, you know, over compressed or anything like that, here's an actual sealed copy of this, uh, of Oracle, uh, that was a little pricey to me, but that's probably the original price I paid for it back when I originally bought it, here is I Failed You, great CD, shows the, the band has uh, matured greatly, and the battery's probably gonna cut off, cut the camera off, so be prepared. But awesome CD, a lot faster. It shows that the band has matured. Of course, they've had many lineup changes over the years, and now the band is on a different label. But that does not hinder their the sound quality or production quality or anything like that. And I do have a quite a few of these in this series. Here is my a family member gave me this, Inf Sony's Infinity Digital. All new recording, pure digital sound, superior sonics, great concertos of the masters. Mozart piano concertos number 23 and 27. I did not buy it for this. This is for 549. This is free. But you have a lot of great tra uh, classical tracks here. And I do have more in this series. And I do plan on buying maybe one more. Here is Vivaldi, Four Seasons. You can take a look at the track listing there it's got a lot of great songs and these sound amazing these are all sealed by the way the uh, here's Chopin the romantic piano of Chopin piano sonatas sonatas nocturnus so I haven't listened to these yet I've listened to the other one I think all the way through while um, drinking the entertaining Mozart de Ver Timenti yes I do know a little Italian Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. I haven't listened to this either. I think I can I can listen to it on YouTube, but I'm a great I don't know. I like to own these these on CD. I haven't opened this, but I have played played it on Amazon um, Music. The original motion picture soundtrack to Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Yes, I really like this movie. There is a 20 20 um, what twentieth anniversary edition of this al uh, album out. It's the same album. I think it's even been remastered for whatever reason. It doesn't need that. But it has all the tracks from the movie. Orchestrated, orchestrated tracks. Um, I do have... Hmm. I seem to have misplaced my Lord of the Rings soundtrack. The first one. Here's the second one. Amazing soundtrack. Um, I did... I don't know. I didn't buy the third one. But I do have the first and second, so that's really all I need. Sun Garden's Down on the Upside. Digipack. A lot of great songs on here. Pretty News, Rhinos Rhinosaur. Uh, Blow Up the Outside World. Burden in My Hand. Uh, I think there's an acoustic track in here, too. So, it also came with a booklet as well. We'll show that another time. Here's the remastered edition of... Led Zeppelin's physical graffiti and these cards do come out and you can turn them around just like the original album so that's really cool that they did that um, it does come with a new booklet uh, the staples are kinda weird but you get a lot of great it still has that new smell to it too it has that great 
new smell. You have the original album plus, you know, uh, outtakes. Uh, they should have included some live stuff in here. Uh, but it's really, the packaging is just like the actual uh, original LP, and it has been, all of those Zeppelin's albums have been um, remastered, and all but the last one and um, Presents have been uh, released, re-released anyways. Again, Bob Dylan's Modern Times on CD. I did think about getting his new album or his fairly newest album, um, what is it, Together Through Life or whatever, but I decided against it. Um, CD shop that I went to wanted too much for it, so this is better, in my opinion. You have Thunder on the Mountain, Spirit on the Water, When the Deal Goes Down, Someday Baby, Working Man Blues, uh, The Ladies in a Break. Here is Sela, I'm sorry, Sarah Marie Mullen, I can't talk today. The Wild Woods. She had four or five CDs. She is at the. She was at Scarborough Fair, and that runs for about a month, month and a half here in Texas. And it goes through, you know, I think probably all. Um, every single state here in the U.S., and I'm sure I think the U.K. has their own edition of it too, but it's pretty much like a rolling circus, and it's really cool. Semi-professional looking packaging. Semi. But these are all traditional songs, stuff you've probably heard. Uh, the Merry Sisters of Fate. Uh, Green Sleeves, that's really popular. And she plays all of this on a harp. So, uh, I, might, I might buy some more of her CDs. But uh, her website is www.sarahmariamullen.com. Yes, Blind Dog Entertainment. So this CD was made back in 2006. Sounds... sounds Really, really good. Something you'll probably put on before you go to sleep. Made me really sleepy after going to the fair. Um, Biohazard 2 soundtrack, also known as the Resident Evil soundtrack. Pretty much all the piano and orchestrated sound uh, um, soundtracks or um, you know sound pieces you hear in each room or section of um, the game. It's only made in Japan. Came with this nifty plastic sleeve. It's a little annoying, but it protects it. Um, and expect to pay, you know, a decent amount of money. It's not expensive, but it's about the price of a brand new CD these days. Anywhere from 12 to $17, if you're lucky. Uh, Frank Zappa and the Mothers of Invention. Weasel ripped, weasels ripped my flesh. This is mostly live stuff. It's also available on record. It's weird that the... Zappa Records did not, or Universal, did not um, remaster and re-release, or just re-release Zappa's uh, actual, you know, records. Those have been left original, and the s cost of them has is starting to go up and up. Uh, hurry up here. Here is the Rat Pack. This is live. Um... Live in Las Vegas, Chicago, and St. Louis. Some of this stuff was recorded on video. Um, so it's really good stuff. I mean, just great songs. Lady is a Tramp. Uh, let's see. A medley. Um, Valaire on an evening with Roma. Here Nobody Till Nobody Loves You. Um, a lot of great songs, you know. Luck Be a Lady, so it's mostly Dean and Frank's stuff. Everybody Loves Somebody, Fly Me to the Moon, I've Got You Under My Skin, You Make Me Feel So Young, My Kind of Town, and Birth of the Blues. Playing time here is 97 minutes and 51 seconds on two CDs. Um, I will be taking these out of the original packaging because they're so tightly in here. This has been released under two different names. This is the American version, and there's another version... Um, for the UK So Here is Monty Python Sings Again 2 CD edition There is an original edition of this But it does not have all the same material Parental advisory That's funny they put that there They even make fun of the parental advisory And there's also a parental advisory sticker You have to meet me over in part 4 For the rest of this Talking about the rest of this But I'm um, always looking on the bright side of life Meaning of life 
See me in part four.